Hi, in this video we will discuss about how to decrease the goat and arthritis due to the intermittent fasting. So how it is possible, we will, we will understand in this video just because I am giving the concept just only and uh, not about the diet etc. I, I am just understanding you the science behind it. So that is why the arthritis means the inflammatory disease, the rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and osteoporosis. But osteoporosis is not like a osteoarthritis. In this way, the joint pain will occur. On the other hand, the core disease will increase due to the uh, due to the uric acid formation. So how uric acid can produce? So remember when you will eat more proteinaceous food like uh, like uh, uh, like meat or other foods which that will lead to require more water so when you will not drink more water so the urea will not go into the urinary system to excrete in this way the um, uh, less toxic substance because increase of the uric acid due to the urea increase when increase the urea uh, in our blood will lead to convert into the uric acid into the liver and that uric acid will be deposit the crystal of the uric acid deposit in the uh, in the joint where uh, and that is the inflammation will increase and the positive inflammatory response will occur and in this way the immune cell will uh, also produce the antibodies against the against the joint where the our antigen is known as autoimmune disorder because rheumatoid arthritis is the autoimmune disorder which that will lead to continuously inflammation and the positive response of the inflammation will occur and in this way the possibility to decrease the inflammatory response due to the intermittent fasting when you will not eat even um, drink little amount of water um, so it will be excrete the urea more and on the other hand the uric acid will be decreased when the lipolysis will increase and the lipolysis will choose as an energy and the decrease of the body fat will lead to uh, rheumatoid arthritis pain inhibition and decrease the rheumatoid arthritis uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, 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 chances to develop and that is why joints require the growth hormone when you go into the intermittent fasting your joint will be repaired due to the growth hormone will spike due to the intermittent fasting and the insulin will decrease and the inflammation will be decreased whenever you will not eat your digestive system will work not because no working and the inflammation will not occur because whenever you will eat the immune cell give response for the identification of the antigen as a food and produce immunoglobulin against that antigen because uh, it is our requirement whenever you will eat any type of food the immune cell will be response and the other hand macrophage and a lot of diuretic cell which that will also give the response and that is why the problem will create more so decrease of the inflammation will lead to also decrease the inflammation in the uh, uh, arthritis side and the joint pain side decrease the joint pain growth hormone increase on the other hand the IGF 1 and 2 increase and the glucose metabolism will be increased on the other hand the repair of the bones will increase due to the growth hormone enhancement the growth hormone will increase and spike the growth hormone will lead to repair the bones that is why the uh, rheumatoid arthritis or other type of disease which that will lead to prevent due to the intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting not means the intermittent fasting should be more and more hours but the 16 hours to 14 hours or 12 hours is enough and that is the um, uh, thing you should need to understand but this time uh, i hope you make sense about that the intermittent fasting and rheumatoid arthritis and joint pain and how to clear the uric acid basically again i am discussing about that the uric acid is a crystalline formation not required too much water when you will drink more water during the intermittent fasting the excretion of the uric acid through your urinary system will be increased and the remodeling of the bones will occur due to the growth hormone so the uric acid conversion is due to the less drinking but more eating protein 
and that protein will be used more metabolism will lead to uh, lead to produce more urea when urea will produce more required more water but when you will not drink more water so the urea will convert into the less less toxic uh, less toxic uh, compound is uric acid because urea are uh, used to 50 ml water to excrete but the uric acid required the 1 ml water to excrete 1 gram of uric acid but the 1 gram of urea required 50 ml water but when you will not drink more water so the urea will convert into the uric acid like in the birds so remember and that is why the uric acid will not excrete easily and deposit into the bones will lead to cause irritation and problem and inflammation as well as rheumatoid arthritis uh, progression and that is why the problem will occur so i hope you make sense about that intermittent fasting increase the growth hormone and when you will drink more fluid will lead to excrete that uric acid to clear that all problem about the goat disease as well as the rheumatoid arthritis thanks for watching for this time I hope you make sense about that. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share. And I am also making the handwritten tutorial about the biomedical science. If you are expert or student, you can learn a lot more things. So thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and share. For this time, bye. Next, see in the next video. Bye.